Hello and welcome to this Sports Report Update. I'm Matt Finkel. It's state week here in Ohio and Crestview softball finds itself in a familiar position back at the state tournament. It's the Lady Knights 11th appearance in the Final Four, all coming since 2000. And they're carrying some momentum to Akron, outscoring opponents 21-0 in the regional tournament and needing only five innings in both games to clinch their first trip to state since winning it all in 2012. At Firestone Stadium, Lady Knights taking on 28-0 Williamsburg. Wildcats threatening in the bottom of the first inning. Bases loaded one out. Riley Clark lays down a bunt. Jana Preston gets out of the circle of the field. It goes home for the force out. Two gone. Michaela Kirshner bounces it back to Preston. Great job by Kristen Etzler to stay on the bag at first. And Crestview works out of the jam. Still scoreless in the top of the third, Tiana Rager laces a single to center field, and Cody Miller comes in to score the game's first run. Later in the frame, bases loaded for the Knights. Brady Guest at the plate, and she unloads them. It's into the gap in left center. Cora Malay, Rager, and Livia Black all come in to score. The three-run double gives Crestview a four-to-nothing lead. Still in the third, Sydney Bowen keeps the rally going with a rope. One of her three hits on the day. Guest rounds third and scores. It's a five-run inning. Knights fans are loving it, and the red and blue are not done yet. Avery McCoy wants in on the fun. The freshman singles into left, scoring Etzler. It's six to nothing, Crestview. And then a couple of batters later, a wild pitch plates McCoy. It's a seven spot for Crestview, all in the third. Williamsburg had not allowed more than five runs in an entire game all season. Knights put up seven in one inning, and that would be more than enough for Jada Preston. The senior racks up eight strikeouts on the afternoon. Let's go to the top of the seventh. Knights leading 7-1. Etzler gets the bats going again, chasing home Bowen. What an offensive performance by Crestview against two outstanding pitchers. The Knights tack on a couple of more and win 10-1, and Coach Etzler couldn't have scripted a better outcome. We knew how good they were going to be. We knew whether it was right-handed or left-handed. They were going to, you know, they were going to be right there. So, you know, to dream, it would have been a dream come true, and I, and I guess it was to put seven runs on the board because we were expecting to play a, a one nothing two to one ball game. I think our coaches prepared us really well for what was coming and they helped us out tremendously since they got to go watch the game. We knew that they had decent speed but it wasn't going to be like overpowering so I think that we all had confidence that we would be able to like catch up with the ball. As a coach I, I don't know what to say I mean from from Cora to Cody. Uh, everybody's a threat. Everybody goes to the plate believing. We tell you, you got to dictate the plate. You got to own the pitcher. You got to have that mentality. And these girls buy into that, and they do it, and they do it very, very well. Growing up and seeing all this go on and being at every game, it's a big difference when you're out on the field. It's awesome looking up in the stands and seeing all your family and your community behind you. Knowing my sister got to do this in '11 and her playing Strasburg Franklin in the championship, that makes me want to come back and just get it more. My dad's the AD at Crestview, so he always drove the bus for the girls down here, and I'd always be the little bus girl <laughs> with coach's daughter, Kristen, and we'd annoy the players, and we wouldn't realize kind of what they were playing for and all the stakes, but it's gotten me here, and it's got like all that that has given me motivation to be where I am right now. A lot of my cousins, like over half, either you know got to regional state, like, and so it's just kind of like I want to be better than them. So you want to you know get just that little bit further so you can have bragging rights. Crestview advances to Saturday's Division Four state final against Strasburg Franklin. First pitch is scheduled for 10 a.m. at Firestone Stadium in Akron. 